going to be sharing with you all the things I've bought so far for this. You can't see him, but he's there, baby boy. Okay, so I have quite a lot of things, so let's just get started. I'm not even sure where to start, but I think I'm going to start with this pile here, as that is what you guys can see. So first things first, um, I have this diaper bag. This is by the company Mud Pie, and I think I saw it on YouTube. Someone was doing a What's in My Diaper Bag video because I've become obsessed with those videos, planning on what I'm going to pack for the hospital. And the one they had actually was in gray, and I really wanted the gray one, but it was out of stock until July, and if you don't know, my baby is due July 23rd, so I just... I needed a diaper bag, so I got it in black, but I still love it. It is so cute. If you see, it's just this, and it's a huge diaper bag. I think it's comparable in size to the Juju Bean Prepared, which is huge. So this is obviously huge, but I thought this would be perfect because I do have, my son Caden is still in diapers, so I still do need to pack diapers for him. So this is gonna be able to fit a lot of stuff for two kids. But yeah, I just think it's super cute. It's got the little pocket here. It's got a very cute gold embellishment. I love the brown leather. It's got two straps like this, and then also like an over the shoulder bag. It's got like a zippered insulated bottle compartment, and the inside is huge and can carry so much. I'll probably go more into depth when I pack this and show you guys what I'm packing in the hospital for this little so dude. Next, I have my Comfort and Harmony nursing pillow. I loved this with Caden, and this is the same pillow. I just decided to purchase a cover for it because I actually didn't own a cover, and then washing the pillow was so hard, and I felt like it was gonna like de-fluff it. So I wanted to get a cover for it this time around. So this one is just really nice. It's soft and fuzzy on the side, which I love. And then the print on the back is just this adorable elephant print, which I also love, and I love the color of it. But yeah, this is just my favorite nursing pillow. I've never, okay, next here I have two packs of pacifiers. Um, with Caden, we did give him a pacifier in the hospital uh, because he just wanted to comfort feed all the time. So I want to make sure that I have some to bring to the hospital. So I decided to go with the NUC pacifiers or Nuke or however you say it because that is Caden's favorite. So I thought maybe his brother will be just like him. And these are just Mickey Mouse pacifiers in a pack of two. And then I wanted to try this brand, and this is the MAM, and this is actually in the size newborn. The NUC comes in zero to six months, so I thought maybe these would be a little bit smaller. Maybe they would work a little bit better just at birth. And I like that it comes with this pacifier case, so I can actually put this into the diaper bag. Yeah, it's a sterilizing case, so you can actually put a little bit of water in it and sterilize these as well in this case. So I just kind of really wanted the case, and then I thought maybe... These pacifiers. Then here I just have a pack of the Evia Oliva Naturals Bamboo Baby Pacifier and Toy Wipes. I didn't use this brand, but I had a different brand with Caden. I think it was Arm and Hammer, and I love them because then if they drop their pacifier, you can quickly wipe it off. You're not gonna have a meltdown if you're not near a sink or their toys or whatever. So I just like to have this in the diaper bag. So I had to pick up a pack of these because we don't really use these with Caden so much anymore. But yeah, just a little pack of pacifier wipes. Then I had to get this little Huggies wipes case. I know it's not something that's like crazy. Why should I need it? But I just, I don't know. I love the pattern of it. And I just wanted a nice wipes case because I buy the Kirkland wipes and they come in this really huge bulky container so I thought maybe then I could pack a little bit less in my diaper bag and won't take up so much room since I'm going to be packing so much for two kids already and I just who doesn't love this print I'm like obsessed with gray and yellow then here I actually have a wrap I was really considering getting the Moby wrap but this was made by just like a work at home mom that I bought around where I live but it's just this huge wrap. I never really baby wore at all and I really want to with this baby. I think it's gonna be a lot better having two, being able to wear one all the time. And I have the Ergo, but I don't have the infant insert and I just thought that this might be a little bit better for summer because it's so 
thin. This is all bamboo. And then I got her to customize it and put this like cute fun print panel. And then that will be like what is wrapped up here when I wear it. So I just thought it'd be super cute. And yeah, it's just this big wrap. And now I have to fold all back nicely. But I had to show you guys for YouTube. I did it for the YouTube. Then with Kaden, I never ever had Muslim swaddle blankets and it's something I wish I would have tried with him. We always just used receiving blankets and he loved to be swaddled. But because this baby's being born in the summer, I wanted something lighter, so I did buy some Muslim baby blankets. Now I bought this, this is the brand Baby Gun. Just so if you've ever used this brand, let me know. But I tried to find Aiden and Nays and I could not find them anywhere. Or I did find one thing in an ace, but I couldn't find swaddle blankets and to order them online. The shipping was going to cost a ridiculous amount. So I found these in Winners and it was only 25 bucks and regularly I think this box is 40 so it was a really good steal. And it's very gender neutral if I want to use it again. It's just green and white. So it's got little frogs and polka dots and all green one and then this like pattern. So I was able to find one thing by Aiden and Nays in Winners. I just couldn't find the actual swaddle blankets. But I was able to find this sleep sack. So I did buy this really cute sleep sack. I just, again, I thought it'd be super nice if the baby doesn't want to be swallowed and something a lot lighter. And I really love the sleep sack I had with Kaden, but I just really wanted to try this brand because it's like a lot lighter. And I just, the other one is a lot thicker. And again, this baby's being born in summer, so I wanted something lighter for him. Yeah, just super cute starry blue print. Okay, so next I'll go on to any of the clothing I've either bought or received. And then I've got two bigger boxed up items. But first off, what do we have here? This is in three months. And it looks like it was on sale for $4.99 at Carter's. My mom bought these super cute little track pants for him. Then I got this sweater. This is also in three, zero to three months. This is from Gap. I just thought it was so cute. It's like a little knitted sweater. And the head has little bear ears on it. If you guys can see that, oh my goodness. I thought it'd be so cute. And this might even come to the hospital with us. I want to get a sweater in a bigger size because they really can wear bigger sweaters. Just roll up the sleeves. And even if they're tiny, it would probably fit. So I thought it'd be a cute, light summer sweater, which would just look so adorable. These little like caps to bring to the hospital. This just came in a pack of two because I just couldn't find any of the ones I used to have with Caden or I just didn't like them. So I just got some plain white little hats that I'm gonna bring to the hospital to keep his little head warm. And then I also got this one. Um, it's a little bit warmer, so it might fit more into fall and stuff, but again, I love little bear stuff, and this is just so cute from the Gap. It's just a little blue boy bear hat. And this is just this really cute, like, little, I don't know what you call these types of shirts, but they're just, like, the little warm long sleeve shirts. It's got, like, a little patch on the elbow, and then some little brown overalls, and this, I think she only paid for five bucks for as well, because it was on sale at Carter's, so cute. This is a four pack of onesies. This is just three month onesies that I got at Costco. They're by the uh, brand Peckle. Peckle? I was always purple, but now I'm looking at it's Peckle. But it's not super cute. I love the bright colors and you can never have too many onesies. So it comes with this one, which is blue with a little yellow giraffe. Then one that has all these farm animals in the blue, yellow, green, gray. Um, this green one that has an elephant and then this yellow one with blue elephant. Then we're getting into the newborn stuff. So I bought one new sleeper and this is just so cute. It's just this blue and white striped one and it's got a little monster on the bottom and monster on the feet. I just, I'm obsessed with like little monsters and I felt like we needed more sleepers in newborn. And then my mom bought this one, I think this was on sale as well. This is three bucks, it's just a little long sleeve onesie and it says my uncle is the best and she bought it to give me from my brother. So that's super cute. So this might actually be his going home outfit depending on, yeah, the weather and all that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just think it looks so comfy and I love this color. It's like almost like a coral orange. It says dangerously handsome like daddy and it's just a little t-shirt. Then it comes with these like little sweatpants that are white and gray, which I just love and think would be so comfy for coming home. 
and then a little gray onesie that has the buttons there it's so adorable and a little orange then this one I got as a gift from my brother and sister-in-law which I love this because it's so comfy and yeah it's just like a little hoodie short set so it's got blue and then a little whale then the onesie underneath here is just white with blue whales if you can see and then it comes with matching little sweat shorts <laughs> hope he doesn't grow out of them too fast but it's like a little sweater here it's green and it's like a little pullover sweater it doesn't have a hood but it's so cute then this white t-shirt onesie and it has a little pocket with the whale on it and these adorable shorts that are blue with little white whales on the shorts. And this outfit as well is just for summer because Caden was a winter baby, this is a summer baby. I had to make sure this baby had some summer clothes. So it says built tough like daddy, a little handyman. It's got these like, I don't know, little summer shorts. And then Daddy and Son Construction Company onesie, and I just thought that's adorable. Then I did buy one thing in preemie, because if you guys know my situation with Caden, he was extremely tiny, and if for any reason this baby is going to be as small as Caden was, he's not going to fit newborn. So I wanted to make sure I had one preemie outfit, and when I talked to the girl at Carter, she says as long as I keep all the tags on, we can just return it if I don't end up using it. This set Caden actually owned when he was younger as well, so it matches uh, one of the newborn sets we have. But this is just a little premium outfit, and I actually got it on sale as well. It was $7.99, regular $15, so it comes with a little bib that says I Love Mommy, a cap, some socks, and one of those sleepers that can either be like a sleep sack or you can convert it to like a little sleeper, but it just doesn't have the footies. Then this, oh, this is coming to the hospital with us. I am so excited. If you guys know, I have talked about Caden's Padraig slippers before, so I had to buy them in the newborn size for his baby brother. So I bought them in this like cream and gray color, and I just, oh my god. They're so cute, and what babies, like, they don't really keep their socks on, so I thought I would just buy him these, and he would wear these, like, all the time. Like, look how adorable these are. They're so stinking cute. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys, so I've bought a lot since uh, we found out what the sex was. <laughs> so, this is just a bath. It's just a summer infant sit-in-the-tub bath. I thought that we would get one of these this time, since now Caden and baby brother can take baths together in the big bath, so that way he can sit in the big bath with Caden and they can bath together. Um, the one we had before was just one of those little... I don't know, bully baths that you would just fill up with water. So I thought this way we could have it and it like packs up really tight and small so it would be nice to store away. And the last thing that I got is one of my most exciting purchases. It is a summer infant sure and secure, what's it called? Sleeper. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just like a little co-sleeper bassinet type thing that we can put either in the bed with us, so um, if the baby's in the bed, we can put that in. It's gonna protect us from rolling on the baby and all that type of stuff. But also, it's not even just for that, it's just for putting the baby to sleep and being able to move the baby around. I thought it'd be nice if it's just this small little thing. We go camping a lot, so it'd be nice to bring camping because it's tiny and we can bring it like wherever we put the baby down for sleep in a camper. It's not gonna take up tons of room. So yeah, I just got this little sleeper thing. But yeah, I know this is a long video, but I just had a lot of baby buys to share with you guys, and I wanted to share them. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and maybe I'll share more of my future baby buys in the future, <laughs> before this baby comes, because there's only like two months, less than, which is crazy. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do because I try to put a new video every single week. That's my plan now that I'm getting back into these videos. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye!